Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to paint this fantasy lady with a really dramatic looking dress that comes down here with lots of frills. We're going to use uh, some really fun colors today for the base and then come in using um, white for highlights and black for some shadows. So let's go over the size of canvas. I've got a 16 by 20 canvas here. I've got a large two and a half blending brush to start. Uh, turquoise, bright aqua green, blue teal, neon purple violet, and neon pink. What I want to do is go ahead and get the canvas a little bit wet first. So I'm just going to get my brush wet and we'll just slick the canvas with some water. Uh, this way the paint will blend a lot easier. And this is a great little tip for any of you having a hard time blending your acrylics and having trouble with your paints drying too quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my first color, the pink. See how easy that is because of the wet canvas. I'm just gonna create little swirls, crisscrosses, sometimes little figure eights. Okay, I'm going to come in with my purple violet and I'm going to just start overlapping. I haven't washed my brush out. I like having a little bit of the previous color left in my brush and working that out and blending it in to the new one. The next color I'm going to use is my blue teal. I'm going to take the rest of my neon pink here and layer over. Okay, I'm going to set this brush aside, wash it off, of course, and I'm going to use one of my soft blending brushes, dry, and I'm just going to take my brush and start turning it around in little circles to really give this a soft, more of a blended background feel. And just a little bit of the darker colors, the turquoise and the teal that I've picked up. It's on the end of my brush here, just a little bit. At this point, it's just a bit of dry brushing. So I'll just add a little bit of that around the edges. Okay, now I'm going to come in with one of my Filbert brushes to start. And I've got a number eight here. I'm going to use a little bit of titanium white. Okay, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that white here on the end of my filbert brush. And I'm going to just start 
creating little half circles to start her dress. I'm thinking really roughly And then just going to start gently pulling in. For some lines and folds and a twist in her dress. Take a little bit of white again. Softly blend and pull up. So this part right here, we're going to make a bigger half circle and we're really just going to gently pull up and this will work a little bit better as it dries, but it's so nice to get these soft blended shades. You can create as many of these pretty twisted folds as you want. And start coming in with her her waist here so here's her bottom and as the paint starts to dry we'll be able to layer more and more highlights Are some roughly sleeves here.
we'll start working on her top of her dress, her chest area. And then we'll just have some ruffles from her dress that she's grabbing. Then we'll give her a pretty hat. We'll make her hat come down a little bit lower then we don't have to worry about um, adding features to her face and this just adds a little bit more mystery I'm going to take up a little bit of paint here just to add a little bit more shadow. So I think I'll go into my turquoise here. a little bit more white.
Now it actually is starting to transform for me. And instead of seeing her from the front, I feel like she's looking out that way. And this is her back. This is her back side. So I'm just going to change this. And this, this tends to happen to me when I'm painting intuitively. Which I love because it's, it's exciting. Well, you can paint her hair any way that you like. have it sort of twisted and braided or just keep it more free flowing and just hanging over if you want we will add a little bow right here so we'll just turn it over Turn your brush over like this, pull around, create these little rounded triangles. change the size a little bit make it a bit smaller and I can easily do that by coming in here with some water right away and very gently a gentle little scrub to get some of that paint off okay I'm gonna go back to my white And I'm going to start adding some more highlights, going over those ones. So it's a gentle little pull and flick off of these higher areas here, little half circles. an easy way to create a lot of movement within a painting. You can do this with when painting like northern lights in a sky or on fabric like this. So you could take this technique and use it for a few different things. The paint starts to become a little bit dry. It just takes water and really lightly, gentle, gentle pressure. Some highlights here. It almost looks like she could be holding a little girl's hand. 
This might go nicely with um, the other little girl walking hand in hand with her mom. So maybe we'll have the girl's little girl's forearm and a sleeve here and give her a hat as well. So it's a really easy way of painting hats. Just doing this half circle on the top and then a little figure eight. And then we'll have her hair come down as well. I'm just going to add a little bit of white over top of the lady's hair here. Just because it's standing, it's standing out too much to me and I know that I need to soften it. And we'll come down. I'm not really going to see because she's reaching her hand up here and it's going to make her other shoulder and ruffle sleeve right about there. Maybe we'll just kind of tuck her, her arm off to the side like this, like that'll be her elbow right there, and then have her dress. Not as much as detailed as her mom's. But we could have some, some ruffles in there. Give her a little bow as well. Now I really like to get my brush a little bit wet at this point and create some sort of transparent looking ruffles. And with a little bit of water and paint, we'll add a little half circle here and start to give her some pretty twists and folds in her fabric of her dress. Okay, let's just try that again. So I'm going down like that and then pulling. And you can do a few layers if you want. You can layer as much as you want. Like acrylic is really forgiving. And I do mention that a lot in my videos because you never know when someone needs to hear that. And I've got, I've always got uh, new viewers uh, joining us. Add one right here.
I'm going to build up a little bit more on the ladies' dress here. And start to make it look a little fluffier. Create those, those layers. Oh, this is so much fun, you guys. I can't wait to see your versions. By the way, you guys are doing amazing. I am always so impressed, and first thing in the morning when I get my coffee, I go on our groups, and I check out all the new beautiful paintings that you guys have done, and that is kind of like really what helps to inspire me want to make more tutorials, knowing that you guys are uh, using them and having fun with them and uh, learning from them. So don't stop sharing them. I love to see them. Okay, just adding a few more highlights here because, you know, as the paint dries, let me just adjust her arm there. As the paint dries, it's a little bit darker as it sets into the canvas. I just think she's probably holding a little purse or maybe a little parasol somewhere and then the ruffles and the rest of the train of her, her big ball gown here. So, and you, and you guys know I'm just painting from uh, imagination, right? I'm just making this up as I go along. So if you're wondering about a reference photo, there isn't one. But what you can do if you want something to look at while you're painting along is just a lot of you guys are um, taking a picture or a screenshot of the image, my finished product, my finished painting on um, the laptop, that way you'll get a bigger one. So just save the picture and have it on another device to look at as you're painting along for the reference photo. I'll just add some little lines here for her legs and feet and shoes.
and take just a tiny bit of paint off there on the bottom so she's got like a little bit of a heel and then just add some light thin amount of paint here A very thin, gentle scumble. Add a few more frills down here. And highlights. So the more highlights that we add, the more shadows we'll have, right? Because it instantly gives us shadows from all these pretty colors without having to use any black. Now, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to need black or not for this painting. I don't think I'm going to. I think that uh, it's kind of pretty just like this without using any black. And I'm just going to continue here, making up folds and ruffles. So see how carefree and fun, all the fun you can have and just be really carefree. And a little bit more light.
Now it seems like this is the light source here, doesn't it? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add one more color and create some beautiful light coming in from here. Now I've got a little bit of my neon yellow cool, which is just enough. And I'm going to use one of my flat brushes. I've got a number 10 flat brush. I'm going to get some water and my yellow. And this yellow is going to look really pretty layered over the pink. So I'm going to start from here. And I know I needed more water because that didn't flow out of my brush with ease like it should. A little bit more water and white. Take a little bit more water. Blend it out and soften. So it might take a little bit of time to get a nice soft blend, but don't give up. I'm gonna add a little bit, just kind of gently go over so you line it up. Rinse my brush out. Make sure it's a little bit damp. Create that light just ending right about there. So you're seeing mostly water right now and it's gonna dry a lot softer than that. And if you feel like you put just a little bit too much on, you can just take it right off with a gentle little scrub. Just gonna add a little bit more, add a little highlight here with my round brush. This is a number so number five. Just to the front of her legs that the light would be hitting. And these ruffles in the front.
and I'll take a little bit more of my white and my yellow here and just over and make it look like the beautiful sunlight is falling on these ruffles. her hair stand out a bit more without adding any more color there. We're just going to make it stand out more by adding some highlights here to the front of her face. take off a little bit here where I went over a bit too far with it. We just want the very front of her face, like the outline, to stand out. I think she's got some gloves on, so that's why I'm adding those little lines that go across like this. painting all done. Hope you guys enjoyed watching how this came together and that you learned a lot in the process. Feel free to paint along with me and of course subscribe to my channel for more. Have a wonderful day. Happy painting everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!